the Niners, their pursuit of linebackers is so interesting to me. Like they made this big signing of uh, five years ago, freaking Malcolm Smith. <laughs> didn't work. Uh, traded up for Ruben Foster. Didn't work. Traded for Quan Alexander. Didn't work. But then they get Jordan Greenlaw. What? Sign Quan Alexander. Sign no, Sign Quan Alexander didn't work. But then you get Drake Greenlaw, round five, really solid player. Aziz Alshair, undrafted free agent, borderline impact player. And then he goes down, and you got Marcel Harris, who was like a redshirt, strong safety turn linebacker, has 10, 10 tackles and an interception in this game. They're a linebacker factory. What do you think of Marcel yeah. Harris? No, I so I'm a fan of Marcel Harris. I, I think part of the reason I've become even more of a fan of Marcel Harris is because I feel like he's one of those players on the 49ers that gets unnecessarily dumped on. You know, he'll have one bad game in coverage, one bad off, play right? in coverage, Years right? Ago. And everybody will yeah. be like, oh, Marcel See, Harris sucks. That's, that's why I wrote him up in 2019. Yeah. 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 And yeah. um, so I was glad, you know, when the referee called forward progress because – um, um, as a Marcel Harris fan, I was very upset that he immediately bad. fumbled the ball after his interception. But I, I thought he played really well. The one thing that always impresses me about Marcel Harris is one, he triggers quickly and he diagnoses the play quickly. And two, he flies to the football. Now, he's not the cleanest tackler. Yes, he does miss some tackles. Yes, sometimes he does. He isn't always uh, perfect in coverage, but he moves really, really well, especially for he moved reasonably well for a strong safety. He moves really, really well for a linebacker and he triggers really, really quickly. And he allows the 49ers defense to pursue because he's usually the first person to the ball. Um, I thought he played really, really well. He certainly isn't as good as Al Shayer or even Greenlaw, but he's a really good special teamer and a hell of a backup player to have. And so I, I, I do think yeah. that um, the way he played should be very encouraging for the 49ers. Let me because... ask you a follow-up. Let me ask you a follow-up. Do you think Talanoa Hafunga could have a similar career arc to Marcel Harris? I mean, yeah, I do. Yeah. I okay. do. Yeah. I mean, because this team has shown that they can really develop linebackers. They know what they're looking for. Would he be someone that – I think he probably would, right? I mean – very similar player to Marcel Harris. I know we're talking about Marcel Harris. We don't need to get on to Noah, but it just seems like this is a pipeline. This is a factory, and that's the next guy who could I think Harris play. moves better. I think Hufunga is a much better, ta much cleaner tackler. Hufunga rarely misses tackles. Good point. Good point. Hard hitter, too. Anything else you want to say about Marcel Harris in honor of Big 3 6? I'm just very happy. I'm just very happy. I, you know, I did a Twitter spaces where I got pretty upset on people for talking bad about Marcel Harris. I am a Marcel Harris stan. I think, no, here's my thing. I think for being a solid backup player that just had had to play a lot as a backup because the starters happened to get injured, he took a lot more flack than he should have. In fact, I think, you know, for a six-round pick, he is one of their hits for a later round pick because he's been on the team for five years. He's made the team in multiple positions. He's a core special teamers. Like, you hope a six-round pick becomes what Marcel Harris is, and that's a Didn't good idea. He torn Achilles when they drafted him. He was a redshirt, yeah. right? Yeah. From Florida, yeah. 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 And Who he came back and I played as a rookie itself. It was at the, end of the, at the very end of the season, yeah. he did.